My moments with mom. Hi, I'm Jackie. And I'm Jacqueline. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Flickers. Hi. All right, you guys, as you can tell from the title of the video, we are going to do our haul from the antique stores. Yes. And even though we got there an hour after the stores opened, we still didn't have enough time. Right? I know, we barely got there after they all opened and we still needed more time to look in the stores, so. Well, you guys, that one store alone has like supposedly 125 vendors yeah. inside. So it takes a long time. And when you're looking, you have to look so carefully like through everything. I mean, some, some of the booths are really organized, but some, they just have stuff thrown in there and you really have to like stand there, so. Right. Yeah, anyway. but you can find out more about it in the previous video where we did a little outing at the antique mall. Yes, so. yes, and we had a lot of fun. We yeah, had we so did. much fun we in did. the stores, oh my gosh. As you know, if you saw the video, we heard some, it was so funny, we were, we were doing, you know, we were recording, and all of a sudden I heard the cue, like for the Disneyland Railroad, and Jacqueline couldn't hear it. It was really hard to hear. I said, oh my God, Jacqueline, I hear the train thing. Like, you know, he's all, we are now leaving, you know, the Main Street Station, right. whatever. So anyway. They don't reveal it all. I'm not. They need They need to go watch the video. Yes. They want to know what happened. Yes. Okay. Yes. So we found this area, you guys, with some Disney stuff. And they had, it was adorable. It was this popcorn, you know, bucket. You know, I'm not a bucket like, of I don't know what cardboard. you call that. Like where you, when you get your popcorn your in the popcorn, cardboard box. Uh, yeah. So it was so cute. So there was this popcorn box that looked really old. And inside the popcorn box, there was uh, fake popcorn. Mm -hmm. So we were like, oh, that's so cute. And when I looked, it said not for sale. And I'm like, right. oh, darn. You know, because I thought, oh, that'd be so cute to put on our console table. And we have all this Disney stuff above it on the wall. Right. We posted a picture of it actually on our Instagram. Oh, and we did a video on it. We did. We literally did a video yes. on our whole, like, wall anyway i'll yeah. try to link it if i remember oh yeah try to remember okay so we we left you know that area we were looking around later we came back long story short and i'm looking at that popcorn box again and all of a sudden i look and oh my gosh you guys they had these prints of the popcorn box and you could buy it and then punch it out and like fold it and make your own popcorn right box. so you could buy it yeah you just meant that the one that was made with popcorn in it wasn't for sale. Yeah, And we didn't even see these because they were like on the side of the, um, you know, whatever that's called, the display case. Yes, yes, um, yes. So, but then, yeah, when we made like a second round and went back to this display case, yes. we saw it and it's so cute. So let it's us adorable. show you guys first. Yes. So here it is, you guys. Here is <gasps> the popcorn Amazing. box. Amazing. So of course, those are the four sides to the popcorn box. So vintage looking, you guys, so cute. This whole display case was kind of like Bob Gurr themed, which is a legendary Imagineer, if you guys don't know. Yes. He basically designed almost like every single original um, ride vehicle. I think that's what that said. I, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> if I'm yes. mistaken, yes. you can correct me, yes. but yes. I think like that's that's true. So it's so cute in the corner. Right there, there there's Bob. It, there's a little cartoon <laughs> of his head. There's Bob. So it says, hi friends, Bob here. We hope you enjoy fond memories of the past while eating popcorn out of a vintage reproduction popcorn box based on a 1967 design. So you guys, this is supposedly what I just said. Yes, the box that they used, what the boxes look like. Yeah, what they look like. In 1967. In 1967, which I think is so amazing. And I love the colors, you know, it kind of matches our wall, which if you watched that video or saw the photo we posted of our wall, you'll know, like a lot of these colors are yes. over there. So. Yes, we have a ton of, a ton of like turquoise over there, you guys, in the picture. So. And orange too. Yeah, and orange. So it's gonna look yeah. so and cute, green. you guys. And we're gonna make our own fake popcorn. <gasps> right, and wait, did we see what they were made out no, of? Oh no. my gosh. The popcorn corn was made out of styrofoam peanuts, you know, like packing peanuts that you put in a package, like right. if you ship it somewhere, right? But what whoever, you know, did the display case did was they got the peanuts and they got like light yellow paint and like, I don't know, like sponged the peanuts with the yellow paint so it looked like popcorn. It was right, so it clever. Right, it looked like buttered right, like it looked popcorn. Like, yeah, exactly, because you know, right. if you get popcorn, it's like white and yellow. So, so clever. So. We're gonna do that, and it's gonna look so cute yes, on the table. Yes, yes. So that's what that is, you guys. I yeah. know. So see, even though that's not like an antique, you know, you could still find really cute stuff 
at an antique mall that's not old. Exactly. But still, I mean, technically it's like old. Right. It's not. It's not. Right. Does that makes sense. Right. Yes, you guys. But Anyway, without further ado, yes. okay, so let's get this into was, the This was hilarious. Stuff. So we always look at the records because we have a record player at home. We have we have two, actually. An right. old, old one, and then Jake got a really old one. How old is the older one? A portable one. one. Oh, my goodness. Before Jake was born, we got that. So I'm thinking 30 years or something like that. Uh -huh. Yeah. We're looking through these albums, and right. I see this album, and it's this cute little like Hawaiian guy yeah. on this album cover and he's doing like this little stance, right? This little Hawaiian dance right. stance. Like moves. So if you yeah. guys remember, Jacqueline took hula lessons for years when she was little. We've told you that story. She was such a cute little hula dancer. Oh, thanks. And when I saw this, I thought, oh my God, I have to get this album. Right. I don't recognize and any of the songs on I don't here. either. I think they're all going to be... But... Well, we don't recognize but, any of them. But, you know, maybe, I might just not know the names. Like, if I hear maybe. it. But we'll play them later. Yes, and then yes. We'll see, but. So, it's so cute, you guys. It's all the remarkable voice of Hawaii's Mahi Beamer. Right. In Authentic Island songs. And here is, look at Mahi. Look at him. Look at how cute he is, you guys. I know. And He's so darn cute, though. though. Look, at his little, look at his little foot. I know. Yeah, his little and his feet. Little, I know his little arms. Look at him. And unfortunately, he actually... Uh, passed away last year. Yeah. No, two years ago. Two now. years ago, 2017. Yeah. Yes. Um, at the age of 88, and it says um, he was put into inducted. Yes, that's what it says. Inducted into the Hawaiian Music Hall of Fame. Yeah. Um, and he was named a living treasure of Hawaii in 2008. Um, by this this thing. Um. Like this long name. And this actually says that his birth name is Edwin. That is but, cute. But his middle name was, it, it's similar to Mahi. Oh, which okay. I actually, I like, I like that name. I do too, I do too. So anyway. And, and you guys, it yeah. said that he actually studied music at the University of California at Santa Barbara. So anyway, so we're excited. And this was $3, you guys, right. for this album. We thought, why not? Yeah, and it was 10% off. I see. And so, we, we yeah. might really like it, you know? And it was I've so, never heard him before. Yeah, so. and it was so funny. And the guy the guy at the register said something funny like, Oh, you know, is that you know, is that album good or you know, something about the music? And I said, Oh, we have no idea. I said, We don't even know who he is. I'm right. all but I'm all obviously he's remarkable because <laughs> it says exactly. Ma, he's remarkable. So how cute. So now now we'll probably like him a lot. I know, see? Yeah. I can't wait. And I, I love Hawaiian music. It's so Oh yes, you guys, like, it's we so, do. Well, some are, you know, slow and some are fast, right? But like I just feel like either way, like they're so like soothing and like nice to listen to they are you know? they're very and they're very uplifting you know yeah. and, and when Jacqueline would dance it was always such like fun music like it made you feel like good it's almost like like Disneyland like you hear right, a song and you just get all you know things yeah. and one of the other little things we got you guys oh my gosh this is like my so favorite cute, thing you guys and this is a little tiny vintage looking tree you guys it's so dang cute it's not gonna it has focus. glitter is it gonna focus look at this tree. I mean, is that like not so pretty? And it's even more vivid in person. Yes. Like it looks darker in the camera. I know I always say that about things, but it's true. It's like a it's like a hot pink or like a bright like red. I don't even know. Oh, yeah, it's a, like, like a bright pinky red. Yeah, pinky yes. red. I got this bag of rings. They're just actually they're just little kid rings. Mm -hmm. Um, but the cute part, you guys, is a lot of them are fruits, and you know how Jacqueline wears like, you know, she wears cute stuff all the time like we have like cherry earrings right, and, and like, she has like corn I earrings I do yeah we, yeah. Have, we have like really whimsical like earrings but just to show you guys some are so cute this is like lemons with a pink flower yep Jacqueline's holding pink cherries. cherries yes I mean there's everything from I mean you'll see it in, to yeah you'll see it right now fish but to, yeah anyway. I know it's, it's so fun they're really cute and and all these rings you guys oh my gosh wait I didn't look corn pink corn oh there's pink corn oh my yes. gosh literally pink, pink corn. corn but anyway it's a whole handful of these little rings and they were just so dang adorable I don't they were in a baggie and they were only like two dollars so I know like, isn't that I'm cool? gonna get them and I'm sure you know whoever bought these long ago probably got them in some little toy vending machine right that like for like I don't know five cents I wonder but you guys you know are in super good shape I know they look yeah they, they look they really do new. they really do yeah I oh, highly so yeah I highly doubt that they are um vintage at all they look really new but I don't know where the I mean, they could be vintage. I don't they, know. They, they just may not have been worn. Oh my god! Wait, is I, it that one? Wait, I adorable. just saw it. You might have seen know, it. So it's a, it's like a whale, <laughs> but it's eyeball. He's like has one eye. He's like, <laughs> and, and instead of like a blowhole, he has a flower. If you guys watched our 
antique store video, yes. you'll see that I found my magazines, you guys. I usually look for like Family Circle, Good Housekeeping. Those are like the main ones I get. Um, so I did find a few of those today. Um, they're all like from the 1970s. Um, here's a woman's day, you guys. Mm -hmm. And you guys, I, I know it sounds weird to people, but you just can't. Oh, Wonder Bread. I know, isn't that cute? See, it's been around forever. So here's a Wonder Bread ad. Yeah. I just can't even explain to you guys how I love oh looking gosh, through these so magazines. Cool. I think because, you know, that was my childhood, the 70s. Right. Part of the 60s. And I think that, look at an old ad for Avon right there. How fun. And you guys, and there's always recipes in here. I, know, I just want to say, there's really unique recipes. Yes. And they look really good all the time. Yes. And sometimes they even show, um, like houses, like say they redecorated, you know, a oh room, my gosh, a room of a house. Yes. And then there'll be a picture of it in this, like in a magazine and like the carpet's orange, oh the walls gosh. are yellow, yes. you know, whatever, like the counter's green. I don't know. Yes. It'll be but, describing like the carpet and how much it is per square foot. Maybe it might be like a dollar, you know, 99 a square foot back then. And you know, all the, like the models and different things they show. And look, in fact, that's Sybil Shepherd right there. Is it? It is right there, you guys. Really? That's Sybil Shepherd. I don't yes. think I would recognize it. And so anyway, you guys, it, it's hard to explain why I love these so much, but it just makes me feel so good. I love to sit there and, you know, right. make a couple It's coffee. a relaxing time. It is. It really you. is. So anyway, yeah. so I got, a, I got a couple family circles, Women's Day um, right there. They used to have a shampoo, you guys, called Brick Shampoo, and they always had a model. Like, really? like they would always be advertising. Do you want to be the next Breck girl? Oh, I see. So cute. I never have seen this magazine before, but this was called Family TV, and it's all and it's and it just talks about all different oh, all black TV white, shows. I know. Is that cool or what? Yeah. Oh my god. <gasps> Is that um mm -hmm. um um? Can't think of the name right now. And but. I did not know this was in here, you guys. I just happened to stop on this page. You guys let me know if you're old enough to have watched this. This is Barnabas Collins right there. The series was called Dark Shadows. My sister and I would race home from school to watch it. Barnabas was a vampire and he wasn't very, very nice at all, you guys. At all. And guess what, you guys? The other day, I found an episode of it. Must have been on Netflix. Oh, really? And, oh my gosh, you guys. He was, was it? so he on was Netflix? evil. Yes. Really? You guys, it was so cornball. <gasps> was it cornball? It was so cornball. Yeah. I mean, oh my gosh, but it was so hilarious watching it. Um, and then I found this Western, what is it? Oh, she's bold. This Western Family Outlook, and, and you guys, okay. this was 15 I've never heard cents. of any of these. In 1959, I think, wait. Right, it wasn't. 1959, I wasn't even born yet, you guys. Is right, that hilarious? It, it wasn't 15 cents today. It was 15 cents when it first came out. I think it was $1.99 today. <gasps> See? I know, you guys, but anyway. Yeah. And then the last thing I told you guys is a penny saver, an old, old penny saver. Right, well, you told them in Yes, the and I told vlog. you guys in the yeah. video about what a penny saver is if you don't know it. So I can't wait to look through here because, ooh. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Oh, wait, All right. I didn't, you have a ring on. It's oh, like, yeah, I've had that I on for a while. Yes, yeah. my lemons. <coughs> wait, gonna be my wait they're cherries. They're literally cherries. <gasps> I thought they were lemons because they were thing, but I guess you're right no. because the corn's pink. Yeah, because it has the stem. You're right. Like cherries. You're right. Yeah. And there are yellow cherries, though. That You're right. <gasps> There's all different kinds of yes, cherries. Yes, those are our favorite cherries. Right, the uh, yellow um, and orange ones. There's the yellow and red. <laughs> Hold on. I'm, they have a nut oh in the middle. Gosh. There's a seed in the middle. I'm all a nut. <laughs> There's an almond in the middle. There's a walnut. Maybe it's a pecan. Those are, called? Those are our favorite. Oh. So the final item <laughs> I purchased myself because it's like for me. Okay, so exciting. But first, before I get into it, let me show you what was in the item. Well, I'll tell you what it is. It's an album. Okay. okay. Yeah. I'll show you what was in the sleeve of the album. Okay. And I'm thinking the person that took this to the antique store didn't even didn't know. even look inside their album oh, like, like like to make sure nothing was in there it's it's just it kind of cracked us up you guys it's so cute so oh this doesn't even do anything the, it's the record was oh, in there it was in it there, was in there. Oh. yes okay yes. okay so look at this you guys so there's two sleeves in here for a 45 45 right, right, right 45 called. okay so it, this one's for the four seasons Yes. Okay, <laughs> so random. Had, all of these things that were in the sleeve of the al of the main album that I bought don't have anything to do with it at all. No. Okay, so then it's like telling you about their other 
you know, records and stuff, right? So and, that's And this weird. was for Come On Marianne. Okay. Which I don't know how that goes. Come on, Eileen. Oh, I swear. Marianne. Okay, that's a, that's no, a different kidding. song. But anyway, isn't that funny? So, so I guess the person didn't look in there to check, but he's probably wondering, where did that sleeve go for that 45? <laughs> Here it is. Then there's one for the Beatles, All You Need Is Love. And what? Wait, that's another song? I, well, it's probably on the other side. <gasps> right. Wait. It was probably a song on, you know, it's on oh, each side. I so. Bet. Okay, so, yeah. and baby, you're a rich man. Okay. So, I don't even know that song. I, I don't know either of those. Yeah. I don't what's, think. what's the other one? All you need is love. Oh, no, no. All you need is love. <gasps> bum, heard bum, it. Bum, bum, bum. All you need is love. Love. Love no. is all oh. you need. Okay. Wow. Okay. Well, so, well you should know the words, honey, because <gasps> we'll have the next thing. Oh my gosh, I know. So <laughs> here's the sleeve for that, okay? Then, <laughs> this is the strangest thing. I don't know if this was the owner, right? The, like the original owner. I have or, no like, idea. Or like who even wrote this. I don't know. It's the cutest thing. It's a sheet of paper, but it looks old. <laughs> yes, it looks old. So it's so cute. And it has the lyrics to All You Need Is Love on it. I mean, like, look, cute, you guys? look how cute the handwriting is. Let's see. Let's see. Wait. It'll get, yeah. Here it is. Oh my gosh, look at this. Look at that. So it goes, like, from the verses to the chorus. And, yeah. It's and like then, the whole song. I yeah. know. Look at that. Oh my gosh. So that's really neat. Is that cute, you um, guys? So do you see what I'm saying, though? And, like, like, who even knew? Yes. It's like, who, in there. who knows how many times. And that's what's neat when you buy something antique. Like, like, who knows how many times this album passed through someone's house? Right. You know what I mean? It's really like cool. the cutest thing. Like if you guys saw that movie, A Dog's Life or A Dog's Purpose. Oh yeah. And the dog goes right. through all these different owners. And it's called. You, so it's like you never know. So look at who sat there. I know. Amazing. It looks like a, a man, woman's a woman. writing, but my no, dad had beautiful handwriting. I was handwriting, just gonna say so, a yeah, lot of guys know. have great yeah. handwriting. But yeah. look, you guys, how. It's like we, we feel like we found two, tre like three really treasures. Cool. Three because treasures of, because of the sleeves. Of the sleeves. <laughs> I'll do a drum roll for Jacqueline Sink. She was searching for all day. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, no. The fridge is doing oh, that. The refrigerator is doing the cookie <laughs> thing. Yeah. It's ruined again. Yeah. No. <laughs> that really wasn't a drum wait, roll. Wait, you didn't even do it long enough. I was running out of breath. <laughs> Maybe I could do like a sound effect in editing. When I show it. Oh, yeah. Ready? Okay. Okay. <laughs> you guys. Oh, my gosh. Like, this is so emotional. But but let's tell them the funny story, Hetty, of Sound of Music. I will. Come on. I will All tell right. them. All right. Okay, so if you guys don't know, this is probably... You know, it's funny. For some reason, when we did that best friend tag or whatever, you know, one of the questions was, what's your favorite movie? Okay. And I don't think I wrote this down. I don't think you but did. It's the straight that's the strangest thing because this is literally my favorite well, movie. You might have been thinking a musical. Maybe, right? Right. Like different You weren't thinking movie. Right. Right. I know. Right. Maybe, maybe. Right. But I'm not kidding. This is my favorite, if not one of my favorite <laughs> movies. Okay. Julie Andrews, Christopher Plummer, okay. Yes. The Sound of Music classic legendary movie. Yes, if the bunch none of rock you, children. If none of you have seen it. You young people, yes. even you older people out there, please go watch it just for me. Even if you don't like it, I just want to know that you watched it once, okay? It's such a cute story, A lot of guys. people don't yes. like it because they think it's boring. And let me tell you a little quick story. I don't want this video <laughs> to be long, but let me just tell you. I don't know how old I was, maybe 12? Yeah, well, probably. Guess, okay. Yeah. Mom wanted me to watch this movie, okay? You know, because it, it was about... A very historical time, you know, events. Yes, yes. True story. Yes, yes. So very interesting. Okay. So we watched it and I thought it was so boring and not good. I did not like it at all. So then we watched it again. I don't know why. Maybe it was on TV one day and we watched it again. And then I thought, oh my gosh, this is like the best movie. Maybe because I was older, like I appreciated I, I it more know. the story. Yeah. I don't know. But it became my favorite movie. And then I actually had to watch it in school, like probably more than once, you know, for, for history. Right. Like whatever we were doing in history, like, you know, about like that time period. History and film or something. Yeah. I think it was right. that class. I think class. it was history yeah. and film or something. And it, it became one of my favorite movies even before then. But then I always loved watching it since. <gasps> 
So that's what happened. It's like the it's like the neatest story. It and, is. And if you guys really just sit there and watch it, and, and and you'll enjoy it so much. And there's so many good parts, so many good songs, you guys. I know. Like it this, makes you want to cry. You know. Yes, it's in this so beautiful. Movie. Julie Andrews is also one of my favorite actresses, if not my favorite. Um, so this movie holds a special place in my heart. Yeah. And the original um, Mary Poppins. I know the original Mary That's Poppins. That's right. Yes. I mean, she's been in so many things. Yes. So but, talented. Um, yeah. So talented. And I know, look how young. So this is the back. You always got to make sure that the album you're getting isn't scratched, right? You don't want it to be heavily scratched yes. or else it won't, it won't play, right? So this one, I'm really surprised. Like it's not even scratched I at thought all. it looked really good. Yeah. I mean, Mahi's I, might be scratched because it was it so It might cheap. be. Okay. But, but I mean, <laughs> yes. It's it's really nice and yeah so it has every single song I'm so excited to play it yes and it also came with Jacqueline really was hesitant you guys because it was $22 right um, which I mean isn't really that much considering other albums you might find online out there you know some could be 50 or more um, right. certain albums so you right. know and it wasn't too bad but, there were but. musical albums today that were cheaper but I think it's because they weren't the Sound of Music. You know, this is a right. this is a pretty. This is the only deal, one I guys. found. Yeah, I mean, I mean, The Sound of Music is a pretty. You know what I'm saying? It's a pretty famous thing. It so is. I think number one, that's why it was high priced, and I think the other reason because you don't see any scratches on it. Right. And Jacqueline did find online uh, one that someone was selling that was that came to like thirteen dollars, but. I said, but Jacqueline, you know, you can't see it. Yeah, the, the album you know? cover's good. You know, it's in pretty good shape. You know, the, we don't see any scratches. What if you get that one and it's all scratched up? Then what are you going to do? I said, oh, just pay the extra, you know, what, nine bucks or I whatever. Know. And, I know. Yeah. And then I have so. it now instead of like waiting exactly. for it to ship yeah. and all yeah. that. And shipping is dangerous. What if it broke? Well, that's true. Or something. Yeah. yeah. I think all of these records might have come with one of these, you know, at the time, unless. Like they got lost. Yeah, it probably you know did. What I mean? I'm sure. Yeah. Like if they're in a antique store now, like right. they might not have it. You know, if someone or lost it. Or the person it, might but, have kept it. Right, or yeah. the person might have kept it. Yeah, but it's this little like booklet, and it has the same cover. And so basically, so basically, it goes through the story, you know, of the movie, and it tells you like about. You know Christopher Plummer and Julie Andrews, and it you know it talks about how the movie came about and all kinds of things. And this is actually like it's very um, new looking. Like it it's is. not it's really nice. It's not looking. worn yeah. looking at all. Like it yeah. looks really nice. So I'm glad that was you know not thrashed inside. Yes, yes. So that looks really pretty cool. Good. I know. Yeah. And there's so many pictures of um, the scenes from the movie, and then like little descriptions. So it's so cool. Yeah. Yeah. And I love this picture <gasps> in the back. Oh, on the back. I yeah, know. I, I love like that. that. I know. I love that. Yeah, uh, I like that. that. Like montage of yeah, scenes from yeah. that song. I think that was Do Re Mi. Oh, was it? I think okay. it was. I thought Do Re, Re Mi was. Oh, were they outside? Why did I think yeah, they, they were, were outside, outside like the whole time? They what were, are like, they doing? All kinds of things. What's the song on the bed? Oh, that's um. Oh, my favorite things. Oh yeah, that's yeah. right. Because it's the storm outside. Yeah. Yeah. They're okay, all scared. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I am. All right. So we found some great stuff for a pretty great price yes. too. I'd say everything was pretty good. I think you know. so. Yeah. Everything was a really even good price. Even my sound and music album, even though I was iffy about getting that, it. But, but Jacqueline used your graduation it. money to buy that. I and I think the most expensive thing we bought was the popcorn box. That was like twelve dollars, right. right? Well, I mean, the most expensive thing was the album, but I bought it. But you Is bought that what it, you mean? yes. Okay, yes. okay. And um, yeah, and, and you guys look. What was one of the rings was Hello Kitty. I know. I, I didn't even that. know she was in there. I know. See? I know. But I, so know I, I laid them all in a row so Jacqueline could take a picture That's and show you guys. Good job. And then I said, Thank Oh my you. God, Jacqueline's like, Really? There's a Hello Kitty one. So see, I didn't know that either. See? There's like I, a little. Oh my gosh. Okay. I know. I can wear that, right? Yes. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, or even if you didn't, <laughs> please subscribe. And yes, and give, give this, this video, video a thumbs up, you guys. And don't forget to go watch when we were at the antique. Right, our outing, this our antique yes. outing. And there's some food in that video. Maybe, oh, yeah. maybe that'll entice you to go. Yeah, watch we did a little it. food review. We did. Yeah. So we'll go check that out. Yes. And I guess that's it, everybody. Hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you next time. Love you guys. Bye.